The Rafale M was developed for the French Navy as the main aircraft armament of its single aircraft carrier, the nuclear-powered Charles de Gaulle, configured with catapult launch equipment. The Rafale M was the first variant of the fighter aircraft to enter service, initially only in an air defense role in 2001. The aircraft have been upgraded successively, adding new weapons and avionics, including an active electronically scanned array. AESA, radar. The Rafale M has also carried out joint operations from the deck of U.S. Navy carriers. Therefore, French jets might be expected to have certain advantages and inter-service competition might even be calculated against it. Telling about the aircraft carrier, the French Navy has a flagship named Charles de Gaulle. Charles de Gaulle began construction in 1987 and was completed in 2000. The ship was developed by the Shipbuilding Naval Group. The ship with the deck code CDG and hull number R91 has been officially in service since 2001. The 42,500-ton carrier can accommodate 30 to 40 Rafale M fighter jets, two AEW and CE-2C Hawkeye aircraft, two NFH Cayman Marine helicopters, one AS-565 Panther ISR and two AS-365F Dauphin Pedro. Three other large ships belonging to the French Navy are amphibious assault ships that can be loaded with helicopters or the Mistral-class LHD, landing helicopter dock. The ship with a deadweight of 21,500 tons was built by the Arsenal de Brest shipyard Chantiers de Saint-Nazaire. This Mistral-class amphibious assault ship on its deck is capable of transporting and deploying 16 New Hampshire 90 multi-purpose medium transport helicopters or Tiger attack helicopters. With a collection of four large ships carrying fighter jets and helicopters, the French Navy is among the strongest in the Western European region besides the British and Italian Navy. France will replace its naval aircraft carrier, Charles de Gaulle, with a new nuclear-powered aircraft carrier by 2038. President Emmanuel Macron said Tuesday, December 8, 2020. In December, American and French military officials reportedly discussed the possibility of a French naval Rafale M flying combat mission from a U.S. aircraft carrier. Although the Rafales have launched and landed on a U.S. carrier to demonstrate interoperability, this will be the first time they have flown a combat mission from a single carrier. As many as 18 Rafale MIS can be deployed on the carrier, although some space must be made for the French Navy support crew accustomed to maintaining the Rafale, as well as for spare parts and ammunition. HMS Queen Elizabeth is an investment in Britain's security, prosperity and place in the world. He will give a striking presence on the global stage, send a clear message of reassurance to our allies, and defiance to those who will harm us. The ship's two propellers each weigh 33 tons, the power plant behind them generates enough power to run 1,000 family cars. F-35B aircraft have been delivered to the British Marines, whose troops train together at the Integrated Training Center at Eglin Air Force Base. STOVL aircraft were also stationed at the first operational F-35 base. The Italian Air Force will also operate the B variant. The F-35B has a lift fan just behind the cockpit and an engine that can rotate 90 degrees when in short takeoff, vertical landing mode. Due to the fan lift, the STOVL variant has a smaller internal weapon bay and less internal fuel capacity than the F-35A. It uses the probe and drogue method of aerial refueling. HMS Queen Elizabeth is the largest and most powerful ship ever built for the Royal Navy, 
This stunning warship is capable of carrying up to 72 aircraft, with a maximum capacity of 36 F-35B fighter jets. In addition to state-of-the-art weapons and communication systems, HMS Queen Elizabeth also has five gyms, a chapel and a wellness center. The flight deck of HMS Queen Elizabeth sits on four acres of land, and will be used to launch the terrifying new F-35 Joint Strike fighter jet. Four fighter jets can be moved from the hangar to the flight deck in just one minute. The F-35's low observable stealth allows it to safely enter areas without being spotted by radar which fourth-generation fighters cannot avoid. The combination of stealth features, the F-35's active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar technology, and the aircraft's ability to carry weapons internally means the F-35 can strike ground targets at long ranges without detection and use precision weapons to complete missions successfully, air-to-ground missions. Apart from being a deterrent and a symbol of strong British influence, HMS Queen Elizabeth is the Royal Navy's preeminent fleet. As the flagship of the fleet, she will carry senior naval staff, receive foreign dignitaries, and act as the command and control center for the entire Royal Navy. January 2021 HMS Queen Elizabeth takes over the fleet flagship role as the Royal Navy moves closer to deploying the world's most technologically advanced carrier strike group. HMS Queen Elizabeth as the largest and most powerful combined ship ever built for the Royal Navy. The F-35B Lightning II is the Marine Corps variant of the Joint Strike Fighter and is equipped with a vertical lift fan and rotating engine nozzle to provide vertical landing and short takeoff capabilities to expeditionary airfields. Designed to operate from rugged bases and various air-capable ships with short vertical takeoff, landing capabilities, the F-35B can also take off and land conventionally from longer runways at the main base. <laughs>